Okay, guys, hi, hello, I am actually here to make a video today, yay. Anyway, so I was just looking around, I was like, hmm, practice, let's have a look at this, and I realized there's actually new categories and items, and then I find advanced skills. And, and that's when I knew that this is, this is very, this is, this, these skills are only for prof professional kart rider rusher players. So let's have a look at them. First one is, drop, drop banana, bana banana peel wisely. Um, okay, so I, I don't know how this is an advanced skill. I mean, I feel like anyone with more than one and a half brain cells knows this. Like, obviously, if you drop them on shortcuts and narrow paths, then it's more likely for someone to hit them. Like, what? Is this something that, that after several years of science, they finally discovered that putting banana peels in narrow paths is good. Anyways, let's look at the next one. It's, it's called water on head. Uh, a technique using water bombs. Directly drops a water bomb on an opponent's head. Catching the opponent off guard. Requires a more precise sense of distance. Why? Why does this even exist? What do you mean? Well, of course someone's going to do this. But it's not like there's a way of detecting it. It's like... Requires a more precise sense of distance. Well, what do you mean a more precise sense of distance? Of course, it's like, yeah, you just have to just just know the yeah, just precise distance. Of course, like, is this something that needs a lot of explaining? It's not like it's teaching you. Okay, this is how you can tell how far the opponent is away. No, it's like you just use your robotic eyes and calculate the distance between you and the opponent, and then just like drop it on his head. Lol. Like, what is this? This is not, this is not helpful. This is just like, yeah, do it. This is good. The next one is wall-busting missile. You can aim missiles at your opponent over track walls and directly attack the leaders. Uh, I mean, it's something. But first of all, this is like near impossible to do, ever. Because first of all, you have to find a track with like a long U-turn-ish thing. And also, of the hundreds of players in front of you... Like, this is only useful when you're relatively far away from the leader. And considering that the leader usually is in a pack at the front, it's, like, impossible to aim at him. And also, this is so, so conditional. This is so... Like, this, basically, there's never an opportunity to actually use this. I mean, it is alright if, if you can use it effectively, but I feel like... This is so minimal, and it, it, it hardly improves any anything at all. Like, obviously, this you, you'd want to do this. Like, I feel like most of these things are just self-explanatory, but then, you, I don't know why they're categorized as advanced skill. These should just be like, yeah, you should probably do these things if you're playing item mode. And there's one that's like, escape from a water bomb. Your team members should be aware of the range to be... To avoid being caught by the water bomb. What do you mean? What on earth is this? Okay, I'm relatively con confused about what it's meaning. It's either meaning your team members should be aware of the range to avoid being caught by the water bomb. That is definitely wrongly worded because, first of all, I can't see how far the opponent is behind me. So how on earth am I supposed to... Be aware of the range. I don't understand. What do you mean? You want me to, like, stream snipe the, the item mode player behind me and then calculate the distance so I can readjust my position? Of course, what do you mean? What is this trying to tell me? And if it's just wrongly worded and it actually means when you are using a water bomb, don't throw it where your teammates are. I mean, is this, what is this even, like, trying to tell me? It's like, yeah, just don't, don't be hit by the water bomb. That is a good idea. Yeah, okay? And also, driving along the edge of the track is another good way to avoid water bombs. But why? Who on earth? What do you mean? First of all, that, this is so conditional. Like, first of all, people can throw water bombs near the edge of the track. Like, literally in this image here, the water bomb is on the right edge of the track. Like, this is so conditional. This is like... If you try to attempt this for the sole purpose of escaping a water bomb, you are retarded. Like, what? These things are not helpful at all. And there's one called Reset When Sucked Up. 
Okay, I feel like they need better English writers for this. Remember to reset if you get pulled by pulled up by a magnet right before crossing the finish line. Then use the same method to prevent the opponent from taking first place. Okay, so this is what I'm assuming. When someone pulls you and you reset, it sort of resets you backwards and then it like it pulls them backwards as well. Which is super conditional, because first of all, if you're first place, that is not a good idea. There is no reason to, like, un unless you're, like, playing, like, 400 IQ plays to try and get enough points to let your team win. Like, if you reset backwards to try and pull the other person backwards, that's just, like, giving them a free lead. This is never useful. The only time it could ever possibly be slightly useful is if... There's t one person, one of your teammates in front, and an opponent up front as well, and you suck, you hit the opponent with a magnet, and then you reset to pull the opponent back further. That is, this is like super conditional, like this is like one in two million matches this will ever occur. Like this is not a, an advanced skill, this is a super conditional, like, tactic that you can use, but it's basically never useful. Alright, last one is aerial magnet. When you use a magnet in the air, it travels faster because of low friction. I mean, sure? Okay. What, like, it's like 1% faster? Uh, alright. Anyways, let's try this epic quiz and see if I can complete. Read this chapter and try out the quiz. Ooh. Oh, if I get 100% correct, I get 100 luchi. Let's go. Which of the following is not the best spot to drop a banana peel? Before the finish line, narrow tracks, landing spots, on a curve. Hmm. Whoa. What is the best spot to place a water bomb? Behind a pomen. Teammate heads. Over a po- What even is this? Are you- Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's C. But like all of these except B and D. Like A is p as reasonable to do as C. Like- even though they have, like, one millisecond less time to react when you do C. Like, it hardly changes anything. But, I don't know. Which of the following is the most effective way to avoid water bombs? Make a U-turn, follow other carts closely, drive on the edge, and drive in the middle. I mean, I'm sure making a U-turn would be an effective way to avoid water bombs, but I know what it wants me to write, to pick. What should a player do if they get pulled up by a magnet right before crossing the finish line? Break, U-turn, accelerate, reset. What is the best time? Okay, I can't even, this is so, why? Thank you, this is so useful. Oh, look, it's a training partner. Still don't want to train, though. <sighs> I guess. Why did they even create this? Can someone, like, first of all, can they hire someone who can write English good? Like, right, please, a good English person hire. And also, can they make the things the same font size? What is this? Make it the same size. What is this? Is this trying to, is this trying to kill me from, it's, it's making my OCD killing myself. And also... Who dropped a banana peel one word? <sighs> this game. I mean, sure. See ya. Bye.